so today we need to figure out how my homemade snow tracks are gonna basically move and track properly without getting thrown off. In the last video, we got the center wheels made and rolling properly. They clear the knuckle, they clear everything just fine. We also got this two wheel drive front hub assembly bolted on and I'm super happy with how that turned out. But now we need to keep the track from doing basically that. Cause that's not good. So basically we're gonna keep it in that track form. I have these two sets of wheels here and that are gonna help it track properly, hopefully. One other point I would like to make is, yes, I could buy a set of tracks, but what fun is that? I think I can make them. We'll find out if I can. So a huge inspiration for this project was actually Ambition Strikes. They made their own snow tracks a couple years back for their Cherokee. They did a fantastic job. Another person that's actually a friend of mine, Casey Liddell. Casey Liddell is known for his Red Grand Cherokee that he pulls people out of uh, basically sticky situations. Go check out both of those channels if you haven't. Their links are in the bio. Today we need to figure out how we're going to get my tracks to work. I know a lot of you are wondering where I got the track itself. I bought it off of Amazon. It was the longest track I could buy. And the reason I did that is because I couldn't find a supplier that could get me four of the same tracks by the time I needed them. I need them before the snow melts. I went with 129 inch track and that, according to my calculations, it should give me around four foot on the ground. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm really excited to get these tracks put together and figured out. So we'll get started. What we need to do basically is we need to make something that bolts onto this hub right here and basically holds all the other wheels that we need for the tracks. I have these wheels here. These wheels go kind of, these big ones go on the outside like that. These small ones go kind of like that. There's gonna be a bunch of them here, by the way. I just don't wanna get them all out. For as many of these as I needed, I kind of went the cheaper route. We'll see how they hold up. I don't really know. I do plan on abusing these tracks though. So they say these are supposed to be rated for quite a quite a lot of weight. So I'm hoping they will work. So and then these ones, same thing. I think I got these wheels and they're for, I don't know, some kind of cart. They're supposed to be pretty heavy duty though. Hopefully they're heavy enough. The small wheels are five inches and the big wheels are 12. I'm gonna start by going into the office and drawing up a piece that bolts to this properly and once that's done then we can start laying out the rest of the track design. With this hub assembly being the way that it is I've got to reach these four pretty large bolt holes. I figured if they're strong enough to hold up a Suburban they're strong enough to hold up my Jeep. So what I went ahead and did is I made this plate basically right here. So to go from these holes to that I think that will work pretty good. So we need four of them cut out. So we're gonna get one of them cut out, kind of test how it fits and uh, see if it works. So I have plate here and it's looking pretty good. But as I put it up onto here, I notice a couple things. One, I can't get to my holes to put the lug nuts in anymore. And two, I couldn't anyways because even with this plate gone, these holes are covered by that. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna notch that flange out with the plasma cutter. I don't think it will hurt too much, but I think it'll, I think it'll be okay. So that's another thing we gotta go figure out, but I am really happy with that plate. I just don't have the right bolts to thread into there. So we gotta go to the store at some point. So I'm gonna try to get that flange cut out so I can once again use those holes I made to be able to put the lug nuts on because I do not wanna disassemble this every time I have to use it. I just wanna be able to put it on like it's a tire. Just pull it off, definitely needs some work. I'll have to hit those out with a hammer or something. And then we can put those back in and see how it fits. All right, so got it all cut out. Pretty much got it figured out. Let's, uh, let's see if it works. Okay, there we go. They don't line up perfect, but that's okay. Sorry, I didn't have it lined up properly. It's lined up now. And they fit good. Look at those. Now I can still fit this in this hole. Just like that. Pretty happy with that. These plates, these plates are cute. I need to get three more of these cut out and then we can start designing the frame. 
So with this plate on here, I think I'm gonna get a cardboard cutout of like the profile around this hub so I can properly go over this bearing and then I'll have it come down and then there'll be a larger frame area down here that it will tie to and then I'll throw gussets on it. So I'll get the cardboard and I'll get a knife and I'll start cutting and forming the proper shape it needs to be. <laughs> So that was the profile that I kind of want it to be. Come over here and let me show you what I got. So this is two by two square tubing. I'll cut out a notch, kind of like that in it. And then I'll build little gussets to attach that plate properly. So I guess I should get measuring and get cutting. been a little while and I have been messing with angles and stuff. So I've got the first portion of the frame done and this is how it's looking so far. Okay. Perfect. So that, how it's looking. We'll throw a nice gusset up this so that it won't be a weak spot. I'm also thinking with this right here, I'll have a bar that comes down angled like this and that'll kind of finish it out the way I intended. Now that's how it's going. I'm gonna get a couple more bars figured out, and then I'll get back to you. So it's it's been a little while, but I've got something to show you. So I ended up cutting a piece out that I just didn't like the direction it was going. It was looking terrible, and it, it just wasn't right. So this piece right here, how it was like that, to clear the bearing, I'm just getting rid of it. I'll build a gusset that, uh, that comes up to there instead misses that bolt hole it should hold it the other thing that i need to mention is i am way overdoing this these are this metal i mean is it's just too thick this frame right here just weighs too much i don't think we're going to be lighter than the 40 inch tires but i do think we're going to be close to the same weight or a similar weight drop your drop your guesses down below do you think the tracks are gonna weigh more than the tires or the tires are gonna weigh more than the tracks? We'll get them weighed and we'll see. So I'm gonna have to wait for the store to open tomorrow to pick up some more steel just so I can get rid of this super heavy overweight stuff. Like I think, I think this section is fine being that heavy, but I think this stuff, just too heavy. Let me show you how I've got it kind of positioned so that you can get an idea. The other thing I forgot to mention is all of these, all those angle irons are in my way. I'm gonna have to cut them back like another two inches or an inch or something because they don't they don't need to stick out clear past to the tire because I mean if you look right here, the the tooth stops there anyway, so they're not doing anything extra by coming out that extra little bit right there. So I'll be cutting that off. So let me get this fitted so you can have an idea of what I've got. That's the gist of it right there. First time I've seen it all in there actually. These outside wheels will be matched on the other side as well. They'll go in here where you don't see anything. <laughs> So getting a lot of these angles figured out today was huge in the aspect of uh, they just needed to be figured out. The next three more that we have to build should go pretty fast. I really don't think it's too heavy yet because I'm trying to I'm trying to stay light a little bit. I mean, what, what good would it to have 500 pounds on each corner? Plus, I want to be able to move these around, and I know sometimes tracks don't like to move around. I guess in the morning I'll be back with some lighter steel because those bottom frame rails are just overkill. Good morning. I am back with the lighter steel and we just have to get it from my truck. So I'll get this frame 
pulled off here and get new lengths cut out, I guess, of that lighter material. Get it all tacked up and then we can start mocking up how the wheels are gonna run. Hi, buddy. Needy. So I'll, I'll get cutting. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut out a couple of uh, wheel mounts and basically I'll take two of these, mount them like that, slap this bad boy on there, and then they should be able to teeter. And then these are the, these are the mounts that will hold it. It should work, we'll see. I'm just kind of mocking up right now. If this ends up working, then I need to build three more for this one track and then like, I don't know, like 16 or something for all of the other ones. So that's that's quite a few. That's gonna be quite a bit of work, but I'm gonna get these cleaned up, kind of fit it, maybe tack it to the track and we'll see. I'm gonna get it put in the track and kind of see how it sits. So now, if I go over like a bump or something, it articulates. If I pick up right here, it goes up. If I go right here, they both go up. That looks amazing. It's better than I could have hoped for. But next we need these bigger ones and these bigger ones, I admit they're not the greatest looking, but they were cheap and they were the only ones that were 12 inches. So that's what we're using. We'll see if they work. If they don't work, I'll figure something else out. It's not the end of the world. We got to figure out how to mount them. One of them gets mounted solid and the other one gets mounted in a way that I can like kind of cam it so that it can tighten the track down when I need to and loosen it. That's how I'm going to get the track on and off. I went over here and I cut a bunch of pieces out right here. I already took one out, but those are the pieces I'm going to use to mount this wheel onto there. There you have it. One wheel on, now we just need that second wheel up there. I'm liking it. And then it'll be the super long process of making three more. All right. It has been one heck of a day. I got a bunch of things figured out, but if you were to say, Rudy, what would it take for you to make me a set of tracks? I would say, the rest of my life. It would take me the rest of my life. That being said, look at all these parts. Look at them all. Oh, there's parts under those parts. Ah, surprise you. Yep, they're all stacked. Got the frame back there. This is basically it. Everything on this frame right now is just tacked together. There's still a couple things I wanna change, but it's getting late and I, cut out all the pieces that I know I need. And these are these are the pieces for all of the tracks, all four of them. So that's why there's so many. But yeah, that was, that was a good chunk of my time today. So tomorrow when I come in, I can finish basically this wheel mounting system. I can mirror it on this other side since I have two pillars there. And then uh, once that's done, then we can start building all of the tracks. I'll see you in the morning. Last night before I left, I showed you all these pieces that I had cut out. And next up, we need this front wheel here. Let me show you how that will work. So we're gonna have the wheel just slide in just like that. That will get tightened down through there. The reason I have this piece that comes up off the back is that when it's bolted in, I can have another bar come and just push this forward to tighten it. I think that'll work really well. It's, it'll be similar to how like a tie rod works. The way it works is I just slide that right through. So, and then that will get mounted to that edge piece just like that. I'll have one set of wheels here and one set of wheels here. I'll connect this piece with a bar so that it can tighten as one piece. So I think that'll work pretty good. We'll find out though. <laughs> I'm planning on breaking these tracks. So I'll get them tacked to the other side. Then we'll actually be able to put the track together and it will probably roll on the ground the way it was intended. So I'm really excited. Got a bunch of stuff 
put on, like all my wheels. I got both sets done. Slide pretty good. These ones obviously teeter. These end ones, they are my adjustable wheels and they actually lift up. So yeah, basically the, the further down those are, the tighter the track gets. I think everything's tacked together good enough. I say we get this whole frame mounted in the track and we can see how it looks. It's like a wrestling a bunch of monkeys. I think they're heavy, but I honestly, I don't think they're that much heavier than my 40 inch tires anyway. They definitely look bulky though. So with this threaded rod that goes here to tighten, um, I'm waiting for parts for that. I, I really like how it fits inside the track. I feel like I should point out, I don't have a lot of faith in uh, these front wheels. I mean, find me a better option that's affordable, but we'll see how they work. I mean, they only have to be good enough, right? All right, so I made some minor adjustments, put it back in there tightened up a couple of the bolts, and then I actually pulled the track off the Jeep. All right, things that should be rolling are rolling and things that should not be moving, some of them are moving because everything is tacked together, but we at least have a proof of concept now. Definitely have a lot to work on with them, but that's pretty much the basic idea. Everything is super loose, by the way, including the track itself. So everything I made that had to do with that, I have to make three more times. Without wasting too much more daylight, I'm gonna get into it. I think I'll be able to put the frame together pretty fast. Let's see, I mean, 540 right now. We'll see how long it takes to get three more built. Alrighty, let me show you what I've got going on here. So I have all of the frames put together. I'm ready to start putting them on, I think. So one, two, three, I got my wheels down here. One, two, three, and then over there, oh, there's actually four here. And then over there I have a fourth one. Things are looking good. Things are looking really good. So I should just be able to measure and tack them on. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I'm gonna show you guys how I basically make this piece right here and how I kind of square it up. And the truth is, to be completely honest, I don't square it up, I guess. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to weld this on. And I know approximately where it goes. It doesn't have to be perfect because the measurement for it is nominal. So let me just. Then I'll do the same thing with this small pipe. None of them are the same. That's okay. They really don't matter. They're just there for centering things. Just didn't have them in the way is all. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna put a bolt in. This is the map of the freak. Throw it in there. I'll get my other piece that doesn't have any pipes on it. I'll take it and I will do the same. And then I'm pretty much just going to rotate it till it stops. And the steel will keep it from going too far. And I know that if it's zero, we're, we're gonna call it zero. I know if it's zero on this side, then it'll be zero on the other side and I can tack it together and it will be square enough. Eyeball it down the track, looks good. Tack the slower one. Then I can pull it out. And I have it. That's how I've done all of them so far. How long did that take us? It's 9.20 now. So that didn't take us terribly long. It took me longer than I thought it would, but I'm not disappointed with that at all. So I'm gonna go home and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, I'm back. And uh, I've got help today because these are taking way longer than I expected. Boom. Hi. Hey, Colin. You got your good fab rat sweater on? Yeah, I was looking for my rad shirt, but couldn't find it. No worries, I'll get you another one. We're repping fab rats today. Repping them rad and walls. Last night, I got all these frames tacked together and it took me a little longer than I expected. But today, I have Colin here to help me weld them all back together. Like, weld them solid so they don't move. And then I have a few more things to address with the drive wheels and we'll get going on those while he's welding, right? Mm -hmm. 
So let me let me talk you through what I what, what I want you to do. Everything you see gets welded, basically. So, what have you been doing this whole day? So, I'm still welding up these track frames. I've got this one and then a couple more little things to do. And then they should be good to be put together. What are you looking for? The end wrench. Where'd you put it, Rudy? Is that in your pocket? Hiding it as usual. So Colin finished all of the frames. They look great. Look at that thing over there. It's beautiful. Anyway, bye Colin. Bye guys. Thanks for your help. Yeah, we'll see you later. See ya. All right, so I am super happy with what we got done this week. We got the entire frame kind of figured out, mocked up for the other ones. We got this hub unit bearing put on, I think reliably. I would like to point out that a lot of you in the comments are concerned about this style of uh, unit bearing because there's no stub shaft in it or bolt holding it together. Well, this is actually out of a two wheel drive model and the two wheel drives don't have anything to do that. So instead they're machined to not come apart, I guess you could say. All my wheels are rolling. Nothing's really tight right now. So when we get it tightened down, I expect things to get better. It rolls under its own momentum. That's awesome. Next time we'll be able to get the other three done and actually get them on the Jeep and probably go test them. Are you excited? Yeah. Thanks for watching.